as I was doing my walks, I didn't do so good. And Jonathan was like, Cassie, what's going on with you? This is not your personality. You're all over the place. I know you can walk better than this. And I was just like, I don't know. It was so hard. I just could not switch on. They might not even want any of us. Don't let them see you cry back. Seriously, just be strong. You don't even know that you're not in yet. It's like nothing personal if you don't get a job. It's just what the de designers are looking for. So I think it was kind of um, a bit immature that she cried about it. We're actually not looking for 30 models. We are looking for 30 personalities, okay? And I'm happy to say that all of you are going to do this show. <sighs> Thank you. I got the most shows for Fashion Week and like it could give me an advantage because it shows that I can, I can work. However, last year Alex booked more shows than Demelza and Demelza ended up winning at the end, so it might not mean anything. Next, the Fashion Week walk-off. She strutted down that runway like she owned it. She was an like, absolute goddess. Fashion Week, I think, is the last hurdle that we've got to jump over. We have had all these photo shoots and all these challenges, and now I've got to prove to everyone that I can do it and I want to do it. You know, it's my time to go off and get ready for Ginger and Smart. But before I said goodbye to the girls, and I think, you know, there's a few sour grapes. They were just a bit, yeah, a bit off. Good luck, Claire. Thank you. Hope your shoe breaks. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sour grapes. Bye. Have fun watching Break a Leg. Literally. <laughs> Stage at Ginger and Smart was mental. There was photographers everywhere, top models from all around the world, and dresses, and it was insane. It was so so busy, and I was kind of just standing in the middle of it all, thinking, "Wow, this is what it's like to be a top model. It's mental." But I kind of loved it as well. This is a big show for Claire, and I think she's actually really right for it. She fits the brief. It's ethereal, usually whimsical. Not sure what the collection is like this season, of course, but I think she was cast because she has the right look. Let's make sure she has the right walk. Good. Follow her lead. It'll be amazing. Yep. We were sitting there watching all the other girls and we're like, oh my god, you know, she's gorgeous and she's gorgeous. And then we're trying to pick out Claire and it took us like, you know, ages. We could be like, is that Claire? Is that Claire? Is that Claire? And then she finally came out. When I was standing in the line, I was feeling so nervous. And as you saw each girl go onto the stage, she was just going, oh my god, that means I'm getting closer and closer to being on stage. And my heart was pounding. I think when I got to the end of the catwalk and there was the wall of media and photographers taking my picture and you see all the audience around you, I think it was really a defining moment for me and was kind of the climax of my top model journey because really that's the real that's real modelling, you know. It was amazing. I want to be a model now. I want to do it so bad. It's so much fun. I wish I could go out there again. Oh, it's exhilarating. I've got to tell you, it was fantastic. Watching her come down the runway, I felt like a proud father. She was brilliant today, absolutely brilliant. This is a great start for Claire. What a fantastic job she did. Uh, not only did she fit in, she actually shone, I think, and, uh, and stood out from the other girls. And, and her walk was perfect. She's obviously been practicing. Shit, we are so late. <laughs> After Ginger and Smart, me and Cass had to quickly run to get to Wayne Keeper and get into hair and makeup. Um, I'm feeling excited now. I think now that I've got the first show done now, I can kind of, you know, relax and kind of get into it a little bit more. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure my walk's improved enough. I practice a hell of a lot, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it should be good. I don't know how much practice she has done, but she better have been working or Wayne's going to look like an idiot for hiring her. OK, this is the ultimate time to see Claire versus Cassie. Let's see what happens. Wankeep is such a huge Australian designer and he really knows how to pull a crowd. Not only were the judges in the audience, but he had massive VIPs in the audience and it was a really, really huge parade. Are we all good? 
When the music pumps, you're going to feel it anyway, so it'll be natural, and you're professional, we've done it a million times before, except you two! <laughs> but they are going to look, no-one's going to even know they've never done it before. Right, girls? Right. Right? Best case scenario for me would be for me not to stack it, for me not to okay. swear, for me to do everything as goes planned. It's going to be a good show. I know it's going to be good. It's eye-popping, powerful, colour, strong. Every girl's going to be one of them girls. of all the things that I've been told in my past about my walk, you know, keep your hands relaxed, don't bounce, all that type of thing that I've been told by Mink and Sarah. So I just kept that running through my mind. I don't know what it is, but she just does that stupid little, that, that this weird smile thing. It just, if she didn't do that, I think it would almost be perfect. As I was pushed out, um, yeah, I got out there and I was walking up and Stood at the end for three seconds as Wayne Cooper said and turned around. I walked a little bit too close to the audience on the right side as I was walking back and it was like, oops, a bit too close. Cassie, it, it, it was just the not straight line walking that's going on with her. Uh, I, I was kind of holding on to the edge of my seat going, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Next up, it was my turn, and Claire and I had the Nicola Fanetti show. I've been watching Cassie and Claire all day, and it's now my time to shine, so i got to give it my all. It was definitely hard knowing that Claire's already been out there and she knows what to expect, and I've got no idea what to expect. It was really dark out there. It wasn't what I expected after watching Cassie and Claire, you know. I can see everything, but being in that position, you can't see anything, so I just, I just walked. <laughs> Tani looked gorgeous, and she was so beautiful. Um, she looked fresh, and she was really strong. The way she walked was awesome. She strutted down that runway like she owned it. She was like absolute goddess. Tani just looked gorgeous on the catwalk. Something about Tani, she has a lot of confidence, but it's a confidence that's likeable. Okay, here's the thing. I think that Claire got psyched out. When she got to the end of the runway, there was something really weird going on in her face and I felt uncomfortable watching her. So that was Nicola Finetti. We've now seen all three girls walk. It's a tough call. I don't really know how to call it. There's more shows to come. So, yeah, it's, it's really close. It's really, really close. Coming up, Cassie's catwalk tears. What's wrong? I don't play those sort of games. Getting to Fashion Week on the second day, it was like, okay, first, we're only there so early because of me, because I had to do Anna and Boy. Cool. You know, it was going to be a really big parade for Cassie, and yeah, we um, got there and dropped Cassie off at Hair and Makeup, and me and Tani kind of speculated as to how Cassie would go. Tani didn't think she'd go so well because she saw her on the Wayne Cooper show and apparently it wasn't that flash. I would be nervous if I had to do bathers, you know what I mean? Just because you get to see catwalk, well, you get to see every like everything, like not just your body, like and the way you walk. Especially because, um, especially because Cassie isn't the best walker, you'll be able to see all her body moving. Mm. Cassie has an amazing body, so I'm sure she's going to look fantastic. But I'm still a little bit concerned about her walk. so good to actually see Claire watching me because she's in every single other show besides one that I'm in and it's like you know haha I got the one that you didn't get <laughs> I can't believe the same girl we're seeing today on the runway for Anna and Boy is that same girl that said fuck at the end of the runway it just seems like a completely different girl Cassie has come leaps and bounds I'm so proud of her I'm so so proud of Cassie this is absolutely the tightest top three, I think, that has ever happened in a series of Australia's Next Top Model, um, or I'm sure around the world. I am absolutely stressing out. 
I don't know how I'm going to eliminate a girl. I, I really don't. Claire, Cassie and I had our final show, which was Little Black Dress. We were sitting in hair and makeup and usually we kind of have a chat, but everyone was like silent and we we're kind of all, I could tell we we're all just focusing on what we need to do. So yeah, it was quite a competitive atmosphere. <laughs> the biggest show of Fashion Week, I think, because not only are you modelling for a number of top Australian designers and Masoni, who's blown, been flown out especially for the show, but it's a huge client. It's Diet Coke. doesn't get much bigger than that. So a lot of pressure for the girls tonight. This is the last show. The girls have had plenty of experience this week. There's no excuses here. It's a big show. It's exciting. It's amped up. The clothes are amazing. This is where they prove themselves.